Hi guys, it's Tasha. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the crib. For my returning positive supporters and subscribers, welcome back. Come on in and get comfortable. Guys, I'm working with a little bit different setup. I'm downstairs at my original desk. And so hopefully everything will go okay. I got some things set up so that I can kind of stay in this area right here. So forgive me if I get out of frame, okay? Because I can't see in my viewfinder. I'm going to have to get me something to fix that. But let me go with this haul first. I'm going to share with you a haul. And then I'm going to do a project share for you guys, okay? So let me move these little few things out the way. And let's do Dollar Tree first. And Dollar Tree, I got these uh, large dowels. And these are for the Rascog about a week after I had finished my last craft caddy I was looking around my room for more inspiration and I have three Rascogs in my room so I said oh my god how is it will it be able to do that and guess what about a week before that went through my head, somebody had already taken care of it. So there is a Raz Cog tutorial out there. So a couple of people, I don't know their names or their channels right now. I know Natalie from Put Some Bling On It, she did a project share with it. So what I'll do is when I do the tutorial, and probably in this video, uh, um, in the description of this video, I'll put the links to those two people that I saw, okay? So this is um, one of the things I got at Dollar Tree. This is not all the stuff. I'm just going to show you some stuff because I got yarn and everything, but that yarn is upstairs and I'm not going back and get it. I got these things. You know the, what are those things? The, um, what are they? Clusters. Um, sequence clusters. That's what I got these for. So... And I, I totally forgot. It wasn't my idea, of course. The person that did the sequence clusters, I think she just used uh, like cardstock that she cut with the little bitty round um, punches. And I said, let me try these instead and see how these work. Because I'm assuming, at least I want to hope that if I have a missed spot, at least there'll be some color in it and it won't be just white. So that's why I got that. Hey. I picked up these from Dollar Tree. These are from Cinch. These are the, well, it's for the Cinch. It's from We Are Memories. And these are 12, two 12 by 12 chipboard sheets of, or the covers. So I'm going to do a baby album for my grandson. He's about nine, ten months old right now. So his mom asked me to make him a baby book. We're going to go the easy route, and I'm going to use these. And I was actually surprised to see these at Dollar Tree. Actually, it messed me up some. But it's okay. It was a good mess. Okay, and let's go with Amazon. I got these. I needed some more. Guys, my book is so heavy. It's ridiculous. I have ran out of sheets. But I got these. These are the magnetic, magnetic sheets. And this right here comes away. It peels away. So if you want to back this on chipboard or you want to put some pretty paper back there, um, that's what that can be used for. And these things, I just weighed them. I think they're like 8 pounds for 25 sheets. So they are fairly heavy. That's anything. Okay. Amazon. I got these things from Amazon. Uh, these are, says Pandal Hill Elite Creative Finger, Creativity at the Fingertips. I don't know what these are called, but I will put uh, an affiliate link in the description below. And it's these little things. And I saw these on Posh Paper Ladies, um, her channel. And it, I don't think this was the brand that she used. But when I went to look for, actually when I was looking for the D-rings, these came up as well. Let me, let me get a couple of these. Let's do this. And so what you would do, is that the right one? You would screw these in. 
it would be kind of difficult for me right now. And y'all gotta forgive my thumb. I always mess with mess those that thumb up in particular. It must be a nervous thing. But you will screw those in, and you can use these almost like brads, as if you wanted to. So I got those. And again, if I don't mention it, links to everything I could find will be in the description box below. And I got these gold D-rings. And are they in three different sizes? Yes, they look like they're in three different sizes. And I'm just going to pull out the bag. I'm not going to open them up. Here we go. And here's some gold D-rings. And we have some bronze D-rings. And actually, I thought I had gotten some rose gold ones, but I guess I didn't. And here are the bronzy D-rings. Okay. And I think that's all the stuff that I got from Sequin. Amazon. Sequin. Shaped sequin. These are stars. What are these? These are solid hearts. And these are the open hearts. I got those from the same AliExpress store. I got these bowls. And yeah, I really was hoping that they were would have been, I can't say prettier because these are pretty. But I was expecting brighter colors, more like yellow and blue and reds, you know, like that. But I'm not, I'm not mad about that. Miss Natalie from Miss Put Some Bling on it is responsible for these. These are just some cabochons because she has this dish of delicious looking cabochons on her desk. Oh my God. If I could just get my hands on her dish. But that's what... <laughs> That's why I got these, and I have more coming. And by the way, these little jars are Mentos, what, Mentos gum jars? My son loves that stuff, and I just asked him to save me the jars. And I got these. Actually, yeah, yeah these came from, from uh, Allie. These are the clear uh, little buttons for the snap tool. That's what these are. So I got those. And I just figure if I need a particular color for whatever reason, I could uh, use alcohol inks to color them. Okay, and these are the dyes, my newest dyes I got from AliExpress. Let me see, do I want to take these all out? We're going to be here all day if I do. Let me see. Okay, here are some butterflies. And these... These are butterflies with the shadow. I think that's what they call that piece. So each one has their own shadow. There we go. Four shadows, four butterflies. I got this. This is to put what you put with this. I think like a necklace. If you were selling necklaces, that's what you would use that one for. Or probably anything you really want to be totally serious. This one is a tag. And it has the crown. It has the word diva. And it has the word queen. So I got those. I got these. One, two, three, four, five different shapes of Christmas ornaments. This is an old one. I actually ordered two of these by mistake, but this is a knife, fork, and spoon. This one is a belt. And I got this to try to use on the purses that I'm going to be making. So it's going to be interesting to see me try to use that. I got this one. This is another Christmas. And I'm just, I think this says Hello Winter. I'm not sure. But I got that because I thought it was really pretty. I got this one. No one could ever have enough coffee dyes. I'm just telling you, that's how it is. Deal with it. You cannot have enough coffee dyes. This one is for stamps. Stamps there. And I guess that's the postmark right there. 
this is that shoe die. This may be the smaller version. I'm not sure. But that's for that Chuck Taylor. This one is a purse die. I have to go back and find and see how it actually looks. I hope it's in the mirror in the thing. Hope you guys can see because like I said, I can't I can't uh, see what it looks like in the in the viewfinder. But that is a purse die. And I'm not sure. I might have to go back and look at that one. And the final one is this thing right here. It's supposed to make this box bag right here. And it has the piece in it to put the teeth into your paper so it'll curve without a problem. And that's the belt, like that's, that's the belt loops, like right there. It makes this. And Alina has a, a, a tutorial on her channel on how to do that. And I will try to find it and link it. Okay, okay. guys, I'm sorry. I forgot about staples. I went to staples and I got these two binders. And these say uh, heavy duty storage pocket. And I guess that's what this thing is on the side over here, the storage pocket. But I needed these, and I actually got some uh, heavy weight sheet protectors because I'm gonna show you my my other binder. This thing is full. Oh God! This is where I, where and how I store my dies. And it's full. And this thing is heavy. I put it on the scale. It weighs 17.2 pounds. Okay, so I'm going to have to remove some of the dies from here and put it in one of the other ones because I don't want to tear this up. I want to try to keep this because uh, I like this system. It's, this is working for me right now. So with the other 25 sheets, I have to remove some out of here. I got three three of the small or three smaller ones that I may have to put into effect, and just so I don't, I just don't want to tear this up. I really don't, cause I like how this that works for me. I just need to organize them better. All right, now let me show you. Let me get the project share, and then I'll be right back. Okay, this is my project share. This is the first purse that I've made with this Japanese paper that I was telling you. Well, I ain't gonna say I was telling you guys. This is the Japanese paper that I ordered in the first round. And I really like this paper, but I don't like this purse. And I can't say I don't like it. I ordered blue. And I was hoping that it would match the blue in the purse. Because I felt that the blue would bring out this paper more. But, of course, the blue that I have is a sapphire blue, which is a really bright blue. And it does not match that blue at all. So, I didn't use it. I didn't want to use gray or even cream because I didn't think it would be, it would pop. So, I used the brown and it most definitely doesn't pop with the brown to me. I just would, I guess maybe because I had my, my head set on blue. Maybe that's the reason why I'm just not feeling this. But let me show you what's inside the purse. I made a matching traveler's notebook. And this is actually just the cover. It's just the markup. So that the next one I do, it will be the real deal. And I'm not totally finished with this purse. I got some more work to do on it. I have to finish off the inside right here. I'm, I'm going to cover that. And this was the first time I used this type of closure right here, which I actually like better on something like this than the magnets, but the magnets are cheaper. So, yeah. But anyway, like I said, it's, it's okay. It's, it's not bad. It's just not what I had in my head and a lot of times when I see something in my head and I can't bring it to fruition, that causes me grief. Okay, guys, that is it. I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. If you haven't, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up.
all your comments. I truly appreciate it. Come back in a time and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye bye, love bugs.